everybody it's Sharon here welcome back to my channel for those who are returning and welcome to any new subscribers that may be visiting for the first time so I've had a little think and I have had a flip through some of the images that I have and I found this sheet from Antique Papery's limited edition set number two and I think I have an idea as to how I would like to make this pocket here work so I've turned the camera back on. I literally had just turned it off and I'm going to have a little play. So I didn't actually measure. Oh, and it's almost the perfect size. He's hoping this works, guys. Okay. My head's still working overtime. I'm still, still thinking about how. <laughs> How can I do this? How can I make it work? And I think, so I've decided I like this one here. I like the color tones of that blue. And I'm hoping they will work with my papers. And this is me fussy cutting because I don't trust my paper cutter to A, cut straight or B, cut clean. So this is how I've been doing them. Set that one aside and I don't trust myself with a pair of scissors at the minute. I do find this quite efficient. And I'm just going to cut this one out for now. Okay, and I'm setting those aside. Now, I'm thinking I may be able to cut this in half. I'm hoping this works. So let's see where half is. Whoops. Just dropped my bone folder on the floor. So my poor old craft mat. Just roughly lining it up to find my halfway point. As you see, it's not going to be an exact measurement. But. Just thinking about there. Just cutting that in half. Okay. So back to my pocket. And it is a little bit shorter than I had hoped. Maybe I shouldn't have cut it in half. Maybe I should have cut it taller, I'm thinking. So maybe I need to find a different colour <laughs> because I only have one of that. I really like that one, actually. It's quite pretty. Let's see if I can dare use the scissors I 
I'd really like these in a larger set. Maybe one day. So I need to work out where I'd like to cut. And I'm thinking along that line there. Oh, that's kind of easy, isn't it? I'm wondering if I can just tear it. Oh, that tore okay. Okay, so I'm inking this up. Okay, and I know that I've just finished telling you all in my last video that I craft with intent and things have stories. So my story here is that this is my Wonderland garden and this is the fence peeking over into that garden. So that's my story. Yes, I usually have a story to tell. Okay, so... That was how I decided that I really liked that particular little card to use. So I'm going to glue this on. And I'm just going to do the two sides and the bottom. Popping that in here. Oh, and I've just realized that this is probably going to be a new video and I haven't really explained why I'm doing this. So in my last video, I will link that in the description below. I created these pockets. There's two, this one and another one, exactly the same. And I also created a different kind of pocket and so I'll just get the other one to show you where are you this one so I created this pocket as well as this this was my first this was my second and this one here opens up and has all of this amazing journaling space inside so you attach it using just this back part creating a tuck spot behind and then you can open it up and that made me think about this pocket now this one here just close that back up when I've made it in the past I have sewn this down creating a pocket which is fabulous but I have because I'm using tea stain paper I have all of this inside that I'm not using and I was like it's tea stain paper like the other pocket how can I how can I utilize that space so this my friends is what I'm thinking and just looking to see if I have scrap and I do, it is practically the perfect size. Give or take a little cutting or tearing. Okay, so I'm opening it out and I want a piece of this manila folder that is not white not quite the width of so it's my inside left hand sheet I want my plastic ruler so I can see through I'm like how much 
pen do I give myself? So I'm using my little markings on my ruler along here. I can see my fold underneath and I'm just kind of making that as straight as possible and pressure on my card and I'm tearing. Okay. And I would like to round this corner just to make them the same. And I would like to make sure that that, so it's not quite short enough. So I'm going to tear off about that much. And I'm going to round my corner again. going to cut this because And I'm just making sure that fits inside that little tuck spot or pocket. And I'm going to get my scoreboard. My wall is closing in. Okay. And I think I may just score roughly in half. So I'm thinking, at, what's that? <laughs> Five eighths. Okay, and I've just remembered that I'd like to make two of these because I have two pockets. So I'm going to use this one as a guide. I'm going to... Now I could give you the measurements to this, but it's kind of a relative because it depends on, well, actually it may not be because if you use an A4 sheet of paper the same way I do to create your pocket, then they're going to end up roughly the same size. So how big have I ended up? So it's not quite... It's just over one and a quarter inches wide. And this was just a piece of scrap that I had. So if you don't have a piece quite that wide, you could probably use somewhere around there. And as you see, this isn't going to be quite the same width. Because for some reason that's not straight. So just straightening that up and again I'm going to score when I stop fluffing around with my bits there at five eighths and just checking and I'm going to tab which way is shorter. This one. Just round my corners. Okay, so that's for my second pocket. Okay, so I'm folding that in half and I'm going to get my bone folder and I'm going to score that 
and I might as well do this one while I'm at it. Okay, and I need to ink these. And I am going to ink the creases. Front and back. Okay, and take two. So they're my tabs. And what I'm thinking is so I need to go. Sorry, guys, I'm just I'm thinking <laughs> I need to put my fold so it folds this way I need to place that with the mountain facing me so about there because when that folds whoops when that folds in and across it folds this way and then I'm hoping so I may need to bring that up a fraction So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Now what I'm wondering is once it's attached, how easy will that be to lift out? Or do I leave it attached to there, to the pocket? And this piece is the piece that folds in. It almost needs to be more flexible.
or shorter. Okay, let's try. Too much. <laughs> I feel like Goldilocks. So if that is attached in there, is that enough to hold it? Or do I put it that way? Maybe it could be a floating piece. Maybe it doesn't need to attach. Maybe it can just be a hinge that can pull out. Because that's kind of fun. And if I do it like that, and they take it out, they could journal behind it. Oh my goodness, that could work. And I still have a pocket here. And that's quite firm. And I have a pocket here. I like that idea. I like the idea of it being a floating hinge. And I could add a little piece of decorative something there. Or maybe, oh no, I was thinking maybe some lace, but I think that might be too thick. I, I really like the idea of it just floating. I was trying to figure out how I could attach it, but attaching it, makes it really difficult to get inside this pocket at the back. So inside this pocket, because it's not very flexible. But having it just float like that means that you just slip it in. Just like that. It's done. <laughs> I still have a pocket here, so let me see. What do I have? What do I have, guys? I have one of these. So I have a pocket here. I have a pocket here. Whoops! There is that, but that's okay. I don't. I don't have a problem with it popping out like that. Having said that, if I make it a floating hinge, I can have it bigger. So it could be the original size. Like that. So a pocket there and a pocket there. I think I'm going to do that. So I need to make myself another hinge because I've torn that one. And I'm not sure I have my strippers gone. So I need to find some more manila folder. I mean, this one would work. It's just a fraction shorter. Works fine. So, so, oh my gosh, that makes me really happy. It's not what I was expecting. I was expecting to attach it. And so I've popped it between. I'll see if I can show you. 
So this is, I'll show you, I'll take this away. So I have three layers of paper here from my folds. So one, two, three. And I'm popping it between the first and the second pieces of paper and then tucking it in behind that pocket that we've attached to this piece here, this piece. And it just holds it in place. Okay. Done. That was... And I'm just looking. I have this little piece here left. Maybe. I think I'm going to do it, guys. I think I'm going to add that to my manila folder at the front and I will add it to this one because this is the one I want to use And you don't have to add anything to it. it. It works fine as is. But I'm just thinking it may blend a little better. I'm just experimenting really. Okay. So I'm just experimenting really with ideas. So... It may work better without. Oh, and I've got glue on here still. I've used my tacky scissors. I'm forever cleaning these scissors because I keep doing this. <laughs> Okay, and probably should wait till the glue dries, but I'm excited, so I'm not. Keep those scraps up there to dry because I may use them somewhere else. <clears throat> Goodness, Malcolm bits everywhere. I'm a disaster today. And that's kind of a fun little separate journaling card. I mean, you could put a couple of little thoughts or notes in there. You could journal at the back there. And then it slips over. Oh, I do think I prefer it with that paper on the front. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. I mean, it's not really, but I've surprised myself because I don't know, because it worked, because I like it. <laughs> so lifting my hinge out, I do need to now, so I have an extra pocket, and we have all of this journaling space yay so i'm going to ink around the outside of this because now we will see this i didn't think we would see it before so oh gosh sometimes sometimes it's just exciting and normally I would ink this before I put my lace on, so. But little did I know then what I know now.
Okay, I haven't decided yet whether I should ink my creases. I do kind of like the idea that inking them will separate giving sections, columns. It's like columns. Actually, I'm going to do that because it reminds me of columns in a newspaper. See, there I go with my storytelling again. It reminds me of columns in an old newspaper, the way newspapers used to be set up. And I think that's really fun for journaling. So I may do that with these pockets and with the other pockets. I hadn't inked the creases in there either, but I think I might because I now have a story. <laughs> okay, can you tell I'm a little excited? I am a little excited, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to contain it, but I'm not very good at it. just like this has gone from being just a pocket to being another whole page in my journal really okay again this pocket isn't my idea remembering that the the closure obviously yes but the pocket no I took that inspiration from somebody else's amazing ideas so a huge shout out to that person for sharing because I really love this pocket. And I did say when I first started my Wonderland journal that I thought there would be a whole lot of magical hidden ideas in our future I didn't expect half of what I've created to be in my future at that time but wow guys I feel like I need little fairy lights and starbursts on my video right now because <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit of wonderland magic at the moment So there's our columns. Oh, that is so fun. Again, with my geometric shapes and lines, which I really, really love. Folding this over, I will also ink because I didn't think this would be seen either. That was at the back of my pocket. a little bit of glue there and trim that little piece there that's lifted that should have ink across it already Excess glue there. So I'm just checking that everything is inked up. Okay. Oops. 
it wasn't that difficult last time. Okay, so popping that in there. That's it. Okay, yay. So I'm going to do the second one and I will pop back and show you. So this one here, we will do the same thing. Oh, I do need to just trim this little piece. I don't know where that came from. And I wanted to add a little bit more glue. There was one spot there. And I possibly could have, and I did consider, sewing my lace on and creating another pocket here. But I chose not to for two reasons. A, I wanted more stability at the front of the pocket. Um, and essentially I have a pocket in here anyway. And also sewing it would have made the paper more fragile. So I've decided to glue the lace down instead of sewing. And that was why. Just in case you were wondering. Just making sure my corners of my laces are well adhered. Or my lace. Okay. So that's one. I need to find some. I need to find some more manila folder. To create a second tab. Okay. Pop it there that way. And I'm going to keep this tab, I think, in my ideas book. Actually, I might make two. Because I'd like one the right length sorry the right width even as well as the, the shorter so this is my shorter version it's not as wide here and I will take this one Okay, scoreboard. I believe that was five eighths. Oh, 
folding that up. Actually, I do want to fold this one this way because... I'll just explain to you the reason I'm folding it in the opposite direction is because I'm looking at this one and the fold where the tabs or the rounded corners are, it's folding that way. So I want it to be the same. And because this piece was already rounded, I'm just going to use that. This one doesn't have any rounding, so it doesn't matter which way it folds. And again, making sure my, my mountain is facing the same direction and then rounding my corners. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know why I'm cleaning my desk because I'm about to ink these anyway. painted my fingernail a really lovely shade of vintage photo <laughs> good grief okay I know it's so unlike me okay so I'm stopping midway here what I was thinking is another way of doing this to add extra journaling space is to actually make it more like a journaling card so I have these here one's tea stained one isn't just snippets and I could have used that which is almost double the size and I'm just going to test it so basically I could have used a tab whoops I can't see what I'm doing because I don't want to put my head in the way of the camera It really isn't that difficult. <laughs> okay, and made my tab that size. My little floating hinge tab. I don't know what to call it. I don't know. But I could have done that. And then you end up with a little bit more journaling space. I don't think I would use this one because it has the, this is from the edge of the manila folder. But you could use a full sheet and just score it and fold it. So keep that in mind, guys, because that essentially adds an extra journaling card. It's kind of like a journaling card slash tab. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All the ideas. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to quickly ink this one. This is for my ideas book. Sometimes I think my brain should have an off switch so I can stop thinking because it just doesn't stop.
Okay, so two for my ideas book. I should make that three because I will probably forget. Okay, so this goes here. I can't actually see. <laughs> Let me do it this way. Oops. How about I just leave that because <laughs> I feel like that's not what you really signed up for, is watching me fumble. Okay. And again, I'm going to glue this down here. So I kind of need to cut. So it's right on there. Fun little snippet that I can use. Okay, so I'm back to inking. All of the spots that I didn't think we would see that we will now see, which is pretty much everything. Except the back. We won't see the back, but we will see when it's opened up, they can flip that up and journal under there as well. So I need to make sure that that is inked. Kind of thinking I just need to ink it all, guys. Pretty sure that's what I ended up doing with the other one.
Okay, so there are my... Oh, that wasn't even focused. That's terrible. My two finished pockets. I don't know how much of that wasn't focused. I'm sorry, guys. Probably all of it, knowing me. But I finished my two pockets and I have my little hinges that close the pockets and of course when you take the hinges out they open all the way out and have hidden journaling space inside and we also have this extra pocket here so So I've, I think they're really, really fun. I'm a little bit sad that that last part of the video, which I'm guessing was the whole second pocket, was not focused, but I wasn't necessarily planning on showing that or maybe in double speed. So we'll see what happens. But we've created them and I love them. And thank you so much for helping me through this process. I look forward to seeing you soon, everybody. Happy crafting and bye for now.